What's going on YouTube fam? Mikey here shooting another high adventure video with my bro Ace from Ace Videos. We're gonna catch some crawdads in the river today and we're gonna barbecue them up for the first time. I've never seen somebody barbecue crawdads, bro. No, that's new. Yeah, so we're gonna give it a try. I'm really excited for this recipe today, but first we gotta get some crawdads, bro. Let's do it. Let's get started. <sighs> Back into the icy river we go. This spot's nice because it's only like six or seven feet deep, so I'm not diving too far down to catch them. Literally like 10 seconds in the water. Find this guy right off the bat. It's got like a little gimpy, gimpy claw, a little Nemo claw going on there. Then I find this rod and reel literally just laying on the bottom. It had been in there for a little bit, but it's still in good condition. So somebody either lost it off of a raft or they got mad at fishing and just tossed it in the river. So that was a nice little find though. Check out these crawdads though. I mean, 2019 in this river has been the year of the craw with the big claw. It has been awesome. Usually you're looking for that meat in the tail, um, but when you get claws that size, you can just, you, you're getting that meat out of the claws as well and like tripling up on your meat action. That guy's hiding under a leaf. This guy is like in a bed of roots. So I basically just pull him off his mattress, pull him off his mattress and toss him on a barbecue. Definitely was not his day. And he's missing a claw. Now I kind of feel bad about that, but obviously not that bad because I end up grilling him later. Um, but then I find a lot of these guys, I actually found quite a few of these guys flipping over rocks in this area. I think it's because of that cold spring. Summer was a little late coming on, so they're not out like candy like they normally are, just out and about on the bottom. Speaking of candy, check this out. There's like this claw, like this plastic claw grabber thingy majigger on the bottom. I decide to call it the blue crawdad claw. The universe was challenging me, so of course, you guys know what I have to do. I have to try to catch a crawdad with this thing. Look at this. I'm like like moving small boulders with this plastic. I mean, that is a heavy duty plastic claw, and that is very difficult. That crawdad is not going down without a, look at that. Ah, eh, come here. He is not going down without a fight, um, but I am pretty persistent. I'm, at this point, I'm like, no, I refuse to catch crawdads any other way. And bingo, catch him, look at that. First crawdad with the claw. From this point, from, from, from here on out, basically, I'm like, why risk getting my baby little sausage fingers um, snipped by any of these crawdads? From now on, I'm just using the claw, man. Like this is this is the only way to catch crawdads now. Look at I mean, look at this boulder. This boulder's like 20 pounds, and I'm moving it with this little plastic claw. That guy's definitely napping on the bottom. Actually, that was kind of cheating. It's, it's like it's like creeping up on a sleeping animal and shooting it, and then being like, eh, "It was a wonderful hunt." Uh, but I'm, now I'm starting to get pretty proficient with this thing. This was a lot of fun catching them this way. Still a little bit difficult, because you can see right here, having a little bit of a time trying to get this guy. But by the end of it, I was getting pretty darn good at catching crawdads. I probably caught about a dozen doing this. Now, at this, you guys can see some whitefish down here. I actually caught one of these guys handline fishing, but of course, my GoPro was on photo mode, so I didn't get it, unfortunately. I did catch a nice little 12-incher, though. Pretty fun time in the river. Oh, guys, what a hilariously fun time in the river with my bro. Dude, how many crawdads did you end up getting? 25. 25, I think we I both. Think, sorry, 27. One died, Ooh. one was too small. I don't know why I threw him in the bag. So 25 uh, solid crawfish. You, you like those tiny crawfish, don't you? Always look bigger underwater. <laughs> I've worked up an appetite though, catching those crawdads and catching that one whitefish. In fact, what I've done, you can see right here, I threw all the crawdads on ice because we're gonna be barbecuing them up today. So they, they pretty much gone. Look at that, look at this guy though. Look at big old meaty claws right there. Big tail. Anyway, they're all on the ice, getting ready for putting them on the bobby. I've got my barbecue little grill set up here. Now, something different about this grill though this time. I can open this without burning myself. I have actually put one of those grill mats on it because what I'm gonna be doing is lathering them up in my barbecue sauce and I don't, uh, with the shells on the crawdads, I'm afraid that barbecue sauce is just gonna kind of run off the shells and not really stick to the crawdads. So I'm gonna put the crawdads on this little mat on the grill and then lather them up in the barbecue sauce so they can kind of sit in those juices and hopefully absorb that barbecue sauce. Guys, this is the first time I've ever done this. I was literally sitting in bed one night and I was like, barbecue crawdads, that actually sounds 
like it might be pretty good. So we're all in this together today. We're gonna find out if this is any good. All right, while we let our grill heat up, we have three different barbecue sauces we're gonna be trying today. The first one, if my camera will zoom in. There we go, is a Stubbs Sweet Honey and Spice barbecue sauce. I have a good friend, Tyler, who swears by that sauce. I've got a Weber. Uh, let's see if I can zoom in again. It's Weber. No, it's, it's Weber, bro, Weber. It's Weber Sweet and Thick Original. And Team Weber. <laughs> we have a Caribbean Jerk from KC Masterpiece barbecue sauce as well. There is our trio that we're gonna be trying today. And I'm pretty jacked because I haven't tried any of these barbecue sauces. Bro, what in the world are you cooking up over there? Making crawfish nuggets. Crawfish nuggets, guys, you need to go paddle over to his channel. In fact, I'll put a link to this video in the description below. Go check out what Ace is throwing down. Spicy nuggets and regular uh, nuggets. Today. Good grief. Now, bro, is uh, is Mickey D's uh, sponsoring uh -huh. this video? They are. Well done, well done. All right, guys, we got a crowd ahead cooking. Now, we are going to take our sauces. First, the stubs. Whoa, that crowd had totally just like popped. That was really weird. Okay, first we got our stub sauce. I'm gonna start with that guy. Lather it on, especially around the tail. And we'll do all the bottom one, the Jamaican sauce. Jamaican sauce, man. This Caribbean jerk sauce is a little like runnier. So we're just gonna pour it right over just like that. There we go. Just like so. And we'll take the stub sauce. Oh, do kind of the same thing. Let them cook in those sauces. There we go. Take a look at that. Now we're gonna go ahead and flip all of them. Go ahead and hit them with another layer of that BBNQ. Just smelling super good. If you like to barbecue, you know what I'm talking about. All right, I think this first batch is done. If I can open the lid here. Look at that. Grilled crawfish, you can't see that. What am I talking about? It's too shady. I'll show you in a minute. There is the finished product, Crawdads barbecued. Let's give it a try. All right, bro, guys, barbecued. That looks lip smacking. Crawdads, Good. crayfish, mud bugs. They're really sticky. It's got like that barbecue sauce is like sticky on the outside of the shell. So they look really well cooked, bro. This side is the Jamaican. That side is that Stubbs Jamaican. sweet honey and spice. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Let's Just give it so a whirl. Let's do this. It has a grilled flavor to it. Yeah, it does. It does. Who knew? Grill. I've never had crawdads with a grilled flavor. They've always been boiled. Right. Big old boy right that there. That is a huge, huge crawdad. That, that that's probably the biggest one in the summer. Yeah, I mean, Seriously. that's probably about six, six inches long or so. Big old meaty claw on it. That's fun. Imagine like shrimp with barbecue. Yeah, 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 yeah. So have you guys gotten barbecue shrimp at a place uh, like Outback Steakhouse? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like shrimp skin, uh, shrimp on the- Shrimp on the barbie. What's the skewer? Skewered shrimp. And then they barbecue it or, or yeah, grill it and it has the black marks. Oh, this, this is what it tastes like. And it's like, it's almost like ribs. It's super, I mean, look. Hands are all dirty, sticky. Mm -hmm. uh, so then you're gonna automatically get that barbecue sauce in with the meat. Mm. I'm eating out of this big old claw right here. Try a little of that Weber sweet and thick. Chisel it right over them. All right, dude, and the last one is that Weber or Weber sweet and thick. Weber. <laughs> sweet and thick barbecue sauce. Last barbecue sauce of the day. I ate the crowded hole. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna work. <laughs> I was, dude, I was like, wow, okay. I thought I was gonna do it. Yeah. That one's good. I like that sauce. Mm -hmm. it's, got, it's got that grill flavor, though, to it. Mm -hmm. That's crazy that, like, even with a crustacean, that made it through. 
I never thought to grill crawdads and barbecue sauce. I think the Jamaican wins the day. Mm -hmm. I think it's because it's just a, it's a waterier, is that a word? Waterier. waterier. More watery, wateriest sauce. It makes it into that meat a little bit better. All barbecued up though. Guys, you think this re recipe's epic? Go paddle over to his channel. If you haven't paddled over from his channel to mine, go check out his recipe for the day. That video's link is in the description below. Hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you guys are crushing summer and life. Bro, cheers. We will see you in the next video.